Well, you guys, today we're taking a look at everything you need to know about Windows 8.1 end of life and how you can upgrade to Windows 10 from 8.1 for free still today in 2022. And there's still a little loophole that you can use to try to get an upgrade. But as you can see here, we're on a Windows 8.1 uh, system here. It is activated, which is important because if you're trying to upgrade to Windows 10 from Windows 8.1 and still get it activated, it's important that it's activated in the first place. Now, there is no official upgrade path from Windows 8.1 to Windows 10 for free. Uh, Microsoft have said that they are not supporting uh, upgrades from Windows 8.1 to Windows 10. Now, there is still a loophole where Microsoft haven't closed this window, which allows people to upgrade to uh, Windows 10 from Windows 8.1 and it should activate. But if it doesn't activate, what does that mean for you? Well, it means you're going to need to buy a new Windows uh, key. And you can use something like CD Key Sales. You've seen me promote these before. And you can go here, set up an account and click on Windows 10 Pro OEM key. And you can then see there's a list of flags here which tells you the region that these keys are supported in. And also, all you need to do is click on the Buy Now button and then use my promo code, uh, capital B, capital R, 09, and apply this to your order, and you will get a hefty discount. And that means you'll be able to then use that key to activate Windows 10 if your Windows 8.1 key does not activate after you've used the upgrade process uh, from Windows 8.1 to Windows 10. Sometimes it might not activate, and uh, most of the time that I've done this, it has activated, but if it doesn't, then you can always purchase a key from CD Key Sales. Also, I'll leave all that links in the information in the video description. As you can see here, it says that uh, Windows 8.1, what is life policy for Windows 8.1? And it says Windows 8.1 reached the end of mainstream support on January 9th, 2018. And then Microsoft extended that support to January 10th, 2023. This means once we reach that date, uh, there will be no more updates for Windows 8.1 or Windows 8. You will not receive any more security updates or any more patches from Microsoft, which means you are going to have an obsolete operating system. I'll leave the links to all these articles in the video description so you can read them. And again, this one here is about Windows 8.1. Uh, support will end on January 10th, 2023. And this is just a reminder of exactly what you need to know about the end of support and what it means for you. What does end of support mean? Will my Windows 8.1 computer still work? And so on. There's little answers here which you can read, uh, which Microsoft have put together. Now, it's more than likely that your computer will not support Windows 11 because when Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 was out, I don't think those CPUs will be on the supported list for Windows 11. So Windows 10 is your only option. Now, Windows 10 also has until October 14th, 2025, when its mainstream support will end and Microsoft can extend this as well. And if you look here on this list, it says are free options to upgrade to Windows 10 or Windows 11 available. We do not current, currently offer uh, free upgrade paths from Windows 8.1 to either Windows 10 or Windows 11. If you want to purchase a copy of Windows 10 or Windows 11, you would need to purchase a key and then use this to reinstall Windows and activate. But you can upgrade, but you just won't get an activation from it sometimes. But when I upgraded, I got an activation out of it. Now, what should I do? Should I consider a new computer? That's entirely up to you. Uh, some people will want to continue to use that computer for a number of years, and Windows 10 still has until October 14th, 2025, and Microsoft could extend that even further. So you still have a few years left on that computer if you upgrade or install Windows 10. Now, remember, even if you install Windows 10, there is a chance that the uh, key does not work. And Microsoft have said that there is no free upgrade options available for Windows 10 or Windows 11 from Windows 8.1. But I do know that people have upgraded and it has activated. So that window might be still open and Microsoft might not have closed it yet. So you still have until October 14th, 2025 to use that computer and then Microsoft may extend it. So it's always worth uh, giving Windows 10 a try. It's not much different to Windows 8.1 anyway. Now, the other option for you, if you don't want to buy a new computer uh, at any time, you can always use Linux. Uh, it's different to Windows, but again, there is plenty of distros out there which you can use. So 
upgrading from Windows 8.1 to Windows 10, you'll see when you go over to the Windows 10 website, you won't see the upgrade tool method here using the upgrade assistant. They've removed it from their website. So the only other option you'll get to upgrade is to either download the media creation tool and there is an upgrade option still in there. So you can basically go here and download the media creation tool for Windows 10. Now I'm on a Windows 8.1 system here and you can see it has changed. If you look at the Windows 10 site on say a Windows 10 operating system, you'll see the upgrade path tool uh, there, which allows you to upgrade. So they're trying to deter you from upgrading. But once you open the media creation tool here and run it, it will give you an option to upgrade that computer to Windows 10. What I advise you to do before you do this is to make sure you back up all of your data. It's important because we're going into unknown territory here because Microsoft have said they don't offer an upgrade path and you don't really want to take that chance because if it crashes or it just fails to upgrade at any point, um, you'll have to roll back and there's a chance that your data could go missing. So I wouldn't rely on Microsoft to back up your data. So you can see here, what do you want to do? Upgrade this PC now. So this is the option that is going to upgrade your PC from Windows 8.1 to Windows 10. What you can also do is download the ISO file from this media creation tool and basically mount it and install it or upgrade it from that method if you want to as well. There's quite a few ways of going about it. But what it's going to do is download Windows 10 Media off of the Microsoft website, and then it's going to get a few things ready for you. I've speeded this process up, and you can see here, ready to install. You won't be able to use this PC while it's installing, and it's going to say it's going to install Windows 10 Home, and it's going to keep your personal files and apps. I've said it before, do not rely on Microsoft to keep your data safe. Back up your data before you do this method. Once you're done, click Next, and it will start to install Windows 10 on that system. It's going to upgrade your system to Windows 10, and away you go. Hopefully, when you get to the end screen of this and you're at the Windows 10 desktop, hopefully after the upgrade process is completed, your key has also been activated on Windows 10. Microsoft have not been too finicky about this sort of thing. They've just let this sort of slide. But in your case, it might vary a little bit. Who knows? P from PC to PC, things do change. But hopefully, when you've done this upgrade path, you will uh, have an activated version of Windows 10 from your 8.1 system. Even though Microsoft say it's not possible, it still is in some sort of ways because people are still doing it from other versions of Windows as well. So if you look here, we have our settings open here and we do have update and security going to go in here and you can see the as activated on Windows 10 home here we have an activated version and that means the activation has uh, gone through okay on this machine now there's no guarantee that it's going to happen on your machine I'm just saying that it happened for me but if it doesn't happen your other option is to get another key and you can choose where to get your key from but I'll leave some links in the video description but basically all you need to do now is update your Windows 10 system and get all the latest updates. And you should have until October 14th, 2025 before uh, the end of life happens for this. And they may extend it to even further. Anyway, that is going to be about it. That is basically all you need to know about the end of life of Windows uh, 8.1. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a special shout out to all my YouTube members join my youtube members group i really do appreciate the support and i just want to say a special shout out to gary belts mike bigness pc repair tech albert houston mar sierra jedi buddhist geo sam phil's computer repair and welsh tony one i really do appreciate the tier three support guys and i shall catch you in the next video thanks again for watching bye for now